Praise God. Tayo po muna ay manalangin para humingi ng gabay. Almighty Father, Lord God, great and holy is your name. O Lord God, we pray to you right now. Ama, humingi po kami, Ama, ng gabay. So ibibigay niyo po sa amin na exhortation, Lord God. Unang-una, Lord God, nawa po ay kayo po yung manguna sa akin. May you stand before me, Lord God. May you find me, Lord God, as your worthy vessel, Lord God, para ibahaging exhortation niyo po, Lord God. And also, Lord God, para yung lahat ng mga nakikinig. Lord God, ang maririnig po nila, Ama, is yung exhortation niyo. Yung salita niyo po, Ama, yung maririnig nila. Oh, Father, I admit wala pa akong kakayahan. I have no knowledge. Walang-wala po ako, Ama. I solely rely on you, Lord God. And for that, Lord God, may you please guide me, O Heavenly Father. Control my mind. Guide my mouth. Control my mouth, Lord God. Nawa, Ama, everything that will be spoken in this pulpit, Lord God, will be for your glory. Bringing, bringing honor and, your glor and glory to your name, Lord God. If ever, Ama, may masabi, Ama, na again sa salita niyo po, stop my mouth, Lord God. So that in that way, Lord God, no one will be deceived. Ama, whatever the impurities that my soul has, may you please, Lord God, remove it from me. So that, Lord God, you may find my surety vessel. Also, Lord God, yung mga nakikinig po, Ama, in the same way that you control me, touch their hearts, their ears, their minds, Lord God, para po, Ama, they'll be able to, to, to wholeheartedly and joyfully receive your exhortation, Lord God. They'll be able to embrace it in their hearts, Lord God, and that they'll be able to comprehend and understand it, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we also know na yung salita niyo po, Ama, your word can be, at times, it can be like a sword, Lord God, that can pierce and can can even divide the soul and the body. But, Ama, if your exhortation, Lord God, will be will be like that, be it so, Lord God, para po, Ama, matanggal sa amin all the impurities of our soul, so that, Lord God, while we wait for the coming of our Lord, una po kayo, Ama, you'll find us by the love, by your love and grace, Lord God, you'll find us worthy and clean, Lord God, and acceptable before your eyes. Almighty Father, all this we pray, all this we ask, Lord God, in the name of our dearest Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mga patid, buksan po natin yung Holy Bible po natin sa book of Luke. St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 5 to 18. May kahabahan po siya ng konti. Nanini ba ako? Dito na nga ako. Uh, Luke, chapter 8, verses 5 to 18. Okay. A sower, a sower went out to sow his seed, and he sowed. Some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it, it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprung up with it and choked it. And other, and other fell on good ground and sprung up and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear, 
Then commit, then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Then on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they which, when they had, when they have heard, go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on good ground are they which, in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. No man when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or put it, it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Last verse, take heed therefore how you hear, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not, for him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. <laughs> Praise God. Tayo na po magsi, po mga kapatid. nakaka overwhelm pa rin tumayo sa pulpit para mag-exhort so nevertheless before I start mga kapatid hingi pa ako ng tawad in advance una if, if, if the exhortation may sound hard well in exhortation is a correction so if it's hard and painful humihingi na ako ng tawad in advance. Isa din siyang patama sa akin. Hindi din ako exempted dito. And if ever, mga kapatid, na I might be saying something which is against the word, let's just go back to the word. It's safer that way. Because the absolute, ang absolute is the word. Okay. Yung pamagat po ng exhortation, hindi ko na po babaguhin. It's the parable of the sower. Okay. Thanks God. Now, yung binasa po natin kanina, from verses 5 to 18, there are some points, para hindi masyado mabahaba yung exhortation, there are some, there are some points that we need to, to put out attention on. Okay? Um, hinati ko siya sa apat. First is, the sower went out to sow his seed. Next, the types of ground or soil. Yung soil by the wayside, rock or rocky type na ground, the ground or soil with thorns, good ground, yung good ground, and yun. Yung third naman is yung sinabi ng pagbear ng fruit. And lastly, yung pang-apat, yung sinabi ng Panginoon natin na He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. So, punta po tayo dun sa una. The sower went out to sow his seed. Kaya, ito po yung unang binigyan ng emphasis. It's because, alam na, yung, yung seed is, unang just alam natin, it's the word of God. Amen. Now, since it's the word of God, ang source lang natin dun is yung, yung, Panginoon just natin, our Lord God. Of which, since the sower saw the seed, it means, una, it's, it's the Lord God who first reached out to us. Okay? The effort came from sa Panginoon natin, hindi sa atin. There's no effort in our place. Kasi, yung hindi natin matutumbasan ang effort, ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon. Okay. Second is 
no, sins and sources yung Panginoon Diyos natin. Second is, it is by God's grace through the Lord Jesus Christ na the seed or the word is able to reach us. Since the sower is the one who, siya ng, ng, ng seed, um, it's, it's by that grace na umabot sa atin yung salita. Hindi mga kasamahan natin. Hindi, kasi meron mga iba na nagsasabi na kung hindi dahil sa akin, wala siyang matutunan. Kung hindi sa akin, wala naman yan eh. Wala namang alam yan. No, hindi. It's, uh, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not disregarding the person na nag-share. Because what we freely receive, we freely give. Amen. So, in the same way, yung salita, ginagamit din tayo para i-share yung, yung salita. Third, we have to go back na the Lord, masabihin natin, yung Panginoon just natin, yung sower, nag, naghasig ng seed. Which means, the seed, yung seed na sino, yun yung seed na natatanggap natin. That is the specific seed na matatanggap natin. Because of that, we cannot dictate what the seed should be. If this is the seed, if this is the word given, hindi natin siya pwedeng diktahan kung anong pwede, kung ano dapat yun. Okay? So in the same way, we cannot dictate the interpretation of the word. Okay? Now, since the seed is given, okay, hinasik na yung, yung seed sa atin, the next question will go there is, how do we accept it? Paano natin tinanggap yung seed? Now, because of that, we go to yung types of ground or soil. Yung wayside, sinasabi lang yun yung, yung way path or yung edge ng road. Okay? Yung edge ng road, it indicates na the ground is freely the ground is freely traveled. Parating naapakan yung, yung, yung path na yun. Okay? The, the ground is freely traveled. Tapos, it's frequently since it's frequently traveled, parating naapakan, it's frequently being stepped on. Okay? Because it's frequently stepped on, the ground is, sabihin natin, matigas. Because matigas yung ground, yung seed na mapupunta dyan, it will just stay on the ground. Because of that, hindi makakapasok yung seed sa ground mismo. Okay? Now, since hindi makakapasok, ito lang sinabi, the dinevar siya ng falls of the air. Now, spiritually speaking, how do we relate it? That ground, sabihin natin yung yung, way, uh, yung wayside, it's being, kasi kung mapapansin mo, the word is being rejected. It's not being received. Unlike the other three, um, it's not being received. Why is it not being received? Kasi parati siyang naapakan. Parating dinadaanan. Which means that the person, okay, is too busy to believe. It's too busy to believe, too busy to accept. Kaya nangyayari is, kinoforsake na lang niya yung word of God. Which is too busy. He may be too busy because of himself. Busy, sobrang busy siya sa knowledge niya na wala siyang time matanggapin yung word. That's why yung iba, madaming mga unbelievers doon. Okay? Now because of that, it's too busy na kahit if the word is there, because they're so busy, naapakan na lang nila. Naapakan yung seed. And because of that, the seed actually is not being planted in it. Kung hindi, napipress down lang siya sa ground. It's there, it's being pressed down, disregarded. Now, considering the enemies, the, the enemy, brothers and sisters, yung the fowls of the air devoured it, Satan, yung sa binasa natin, Satan, the devil arrives and take it. For what purpose? Okay? Kasi, tulad na nabasa natin, because Satan wants that person to stay on that unbelief. Because baka mapansin yung seed mag-grow pa sa, sa ground na yun. So Satan takes it. That is how opportunistic Satan is. Igagrab niya yung opportunity para yung tao hindi maniwala. Okay? And because of that, hindi nag-work yung seed sa ground na yun. Second is 
Second seed is yung seed of the rock. Uh, seed on the rock. Seed on the rock or yung bedrock. Or rocky ground. Okay? Now, regarding bedrock, okay, sabi na na it's solid rock. It's a solid rock, but what's in that rock? Kung titingnan natin yung agriculture, though konti yung alam ko sa farming, when pre-prefer na sa agriculture at science, sa bedrock, in it is possibility na magiging soil pa rin. Okay? Now, kaya nakaka-penetrate yung seed. Now, the rocky ground naman, because the ground is either bedrock or rocky ground. The rocky ground is yun, mabato. That's why, since mabato, there is a space for the seed para mag-grow. Now, if you're going to look na tumubo yung, yung seed, naging maliit siya na plant, pero it withered away because lack of moisture. Ang sinabi, lack of moisture. Okay? Which means, kahit may ulan, kahit madiligan pa yan, it will not have enough moisture na mag, magpag-grow sa plant. So speaking of moisture, ano ba yung moisture? It is water, liquefied water na nag-evaporate, naging vapor na dumikit. That is moisture. So, in a short manner, pwede natin sabihin yung moisture is water in action. Hindi ko alam kung tama ba yung science term doon. Water in action. Now, speaking of water, we will not rely to any other water. Pero, since it is spiritual, so it should be a spiritual water. The water of life. Sino ba yung water of life? Think? That's why, since lack of action yung water, kulang yung moisture, it withered away. Kasi yung sa water of life, alam ko na, na-share dito sa pulpit, ang sinabi, um, na-share dati is, he that drinketh. He that drinketh, or let me say in modern English, he that drinks. There is, it's a present tense referring sa action na drinks. Hindi, hindi drunk, hindi about to drink. Kundi patuloy umiinom. Okay? In order to get that moisture. So, yun yung kulang doon sa seed of rock. But we have to consider, mga kapatid, yung sinabi na for a while, yung meaning doon, for a while believed, uh, for a while believed and in time, temptation fall away. We have to understand kasi yung marami kasing misconception ng for a while eh. For a while, it, mean, it doesn't mean na saglit lang. Kasi usually pag, pag may kausap tayo, sasabihin natin, ah, wait for a while, tapos yung ibig natin sabihin, saglit lang. Pero yung sa, sa normal context ng conversation, pag sinabi mong for a while, may, may span of time yun na medyo matagal. Kaya kung mapapansin mo, may mga nagsasalita na I haven't seen you for a while. Medyo may katagalan din yun. It's not, it doesn't mean na saglit lang, pero it means na it's not consistent, na, na hinto din. Okay? So, for a while. Yung example lang for a while, temptation fall away, kaya nawala, is yung the disciples who abandoned Jesus. Yung hindi nila makomprehend yung, yung drinking of the blood and eating of the flesh na umalis lahat tapos anong nangyari ang naiwan yung 12 apostles it is also yung yung, yung duration din nun is kahit kung iisip kung babasahin natin may, may, may time din hindi siya saglit lang there's a duration na bago sila bago sila nag, nag, sabihin natin na give up on modern age sa time natin we can relate yung for a while na yan let me say yung mga napagsharingan natin, yung mga dumadalo dito sa church, they've stayed for how many weeks, how many months, I believe yung iba, umabot ng taon, but then, they withered away. Hindi nila masasabi na, hindi naman ako magpo-fall sa on rock na yun eh, kasi ang tagal ko, umabot ako ng ilang buwan bago ako umalis. No. It still means for a while pa rin, they still fall on that. So it's not, it's not an excuse na 
He, parang hindi siya bilangan, hindi siya bilangan ng weeks, hindi siya bilangan ng months. Okay? Now, next to it is the seed that fell among thorns. Okay? First is, yung i-consider natin na the seed fell among thorns, kung ano yung ground na yon. The ground is hindi siya tulad ng naunang dalawang ground. Which means, the ground can be good. Because it's able to to handle, or it's a, it's able to to take vegetation. May tumutubo na sa ha, sa ground na yon, which means the ground is is capable of bearing plants, or providing nourishment to the plants. Okay. Now, pero when we read it, yung sinabi and some fell among thorns, which means na una na yung thorns. Na unang thorns, because of that, the thorns were able to take dominion over the ground. Okay, I hope you picture it, brothers and sisters. So, anjan yung ground, it's okay, pero yung thorns, sila na nag-dominate. In the same way, yung puso ng tao, yung character ng tao, sabihin natin, based on kung ano yung definition ng, ng thorns, yung inexplain, yun na nag-dominate sa kanya. Kahit i-preach mo, tatanggapin niya. Tatagapin niya. Pero, who's dominating the heart? The thorns or the seed? Now, because of that, ang sinabi, um, or, or nakasulat, um, and the thorns sprang up with it. So, tumubo. But since we have to consider the fact na nauna yung thorns, mas malaki yung thorns. Kung nourishment lang yan, mas well-fed yung thorns. So, tumubo yung seed, Kahit plant siya na maliit, pero maliit siya. Pero when we say na and choked it, brothers and sisters, we have to take note of this. It said it choked it. It did not kill it. The plant is alive. The plant is alive, not dead. Pero choked. Kasi pag tinignan kasi natin, anong ibig sabihin ng choke? Nasakal, nahira, mahirap huminga. <coughs> Hindi, na, hindi makakahinga ng maayos kasi choke, choke siya. Pero buhay. Pero speaking of sa agriculture na side, ang sinasabi nila, pag when it comes to, to vegetation na choke yung halaman, choke siya kasi deprived siya ng sunlight, deprived din siya ng nourishment, wala siya makuha. Buhay siya, pero kumbaga, hindi siya maka, yung optimum growth niya, yung op- optimum capability ng plant na yun, wala. And because of that, since it's choked, the person, sabihin natin, the person who has that kind of ground in his heart, he has the the characters of the thorns, he has, and also, natatanggap niya yung yung word. Hindi naman nire-reject dito yung word eh, nung sinabi. Which means, what's shown here is pinagsabay. pinagsabay ang word and the world. Of which, if you notice, brothers and sisters, we have been called to be separated from the world. Amen. Separation from the world. Hindi pwedeng ipagsabay. Because God has, uh, God does not have any agreement with Satan. Okay? Amen. Now, choke, sabihin, ang sinabi dito, choke with cares and riches and pleasures of this life. The riches is madaling ma-identify. As a person, madaling ma-identify. Kung yung tao, isip, eh, isip nga pera, 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 gusto manglamang, gusto pera, pera. That is easy to identify. Pero pag tingin natin ng pleasures of this life, yun yung shade of gray. Because no one will know it. aside yung person din, tsaka kung ano yung pinapalabas niya na ugali niya. Because pleasures of life, hindi lang siya luxury. It can come also sa, sa internal character ng tao. What I'm trying to say is, pleasures of life, kung matandaan yung napag-sharingan dati, na we should, our, our old selves should die and be a new creature. Tapos, All glory, hindi para na sa atin eh. Para sa Diyos na. What I'm going to say here, sa pleasures of life, another one can be 
yung ano yun, glory seeker credit credit seeker yung inaangat ng nga sarili niya it it may it may look like a character pero it's also a thorn a thorn na hindi siya ganun ka obvious bakit hindi ganun ka obvious we have to understand satan is parang so too social na optimistic he's very optimistic na he has stages na oh, sige, if this will not work at least my my backup ako so if the money will not work let me say a believer na nabahian na napagshare nga ng salita dahil alam niya na the love of money is the root of evil iiwas na siya sa love of money pero there might be things na makonsider niya yung sarili niya credit gusto niya na ang credit na sa kanya like tatanungin a simple ngayong simple example lang mga kapatid is oh, galing naman paano mo ginawa to tapos ang sasabihin ng tao since ang puri is nasa kanya na eh papuri nasa kanya na what he will say ay hindi madali lang yan ganito 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 ang ginawa ko niyan eh kung titingin mo yung context ng conversation s- simple pinuri nagtanong sinagot niya kung anong ginawa but where is the credit where is the credit to that person Okay? Kung titingnan mo yung totoong the true believer, unang just actually dito ko na rin sa church ito eh. Yung true believer, pag pinuri mo or pag may tinanong ka or pag magre-rely ka ng commitment sa isang sa isang kapatid, ang sasabihin unang Dios, unang Panginoon. All credit goes to the Lord. Amen. In the same way mga kapatid kung kung maalala niyo uh, kung ma- maalala natin yung pinag-share ng dati, yung sinabi na Panginoon, nakapagpalayas kami. Yeah, mga demonyo. <laughs> Napapalayas kami sa pangalan mo. Sinabi naman eh, sa pangalan mo. Pwede kayong credit, pero sino muna, sino muna ang tumanggap ng credit? Sarili nila. Di ba? Kami. Pero sige, sinabi, sa pangalan mo. Secondary na lang. Okay? It is also a thorn. Come to think of it, brothers and sisters, ganito. Another way is, since majority sa atin is nagtratrabaho na. We work. Sabihin natin, yung, natrata, yung sabihin lang, ang, yan mag, magaling yan na employee kasi masipag magtrabaho yan. Ma, masipag yan, mapagkakatiwalaan mo yan. There are two, oh, tama yun, totoo yun. Pero if you're going to, to look pag true believer yung tao, the person is working because he knows na his master is God. He works for God. He works for his master. Kaya masipag. Kaya whether, whether the, the supervisor, the manager is there, o wala, trabaho talaga siyang trabaho. Kasi alam niya, pinagkaloob to sa akin ng Diyos, yung trabaho na to, pinagkaloob sa akin to. Alam, nakikita ng Diyos kung ano mga ginagawa ko. Yun. Kaya, masi, kaya, kaya mabait. Kaya mapagkakatiwalaan. But on the other side, pag titingnan mo, pag hindi true believer yung tao, masipag magtrabaho. Masipag. Bakit? Kailangan magsipag magtrabaho para malaman ng boss ko na masipag ako. He's referring, sige, para ma- makat yung shade of gray, para malaman ng boss ko, which referring sa supervisor or manager niya. Kailangan ko magtrabaho kasi pag nalaman ng, ng manager ko to, ipropromote ako, bibigyan ako nito ng increment. See? It is it is ang 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 line lang kasi doon is a very thin line. But it can be classified as a thorn. But mostly, actually nung binabasa ko siya, unang just unang just actually nung binabasa ko siya, tinamaan talaga ako eh. Sa may mga times na I have to do it tapos ang credit na pupunta sa akin. And when the credit comes to me, yung flaws ko as a, bilang tao na na nagiging secondary ang pagsabi dahil sa Diyos, dahil sa Panginoon. Yung siyang nangyayari is nagsasorry ako, nagsasorry ako sa, sa Panginoon, nagsasorry ako sa Diyos, inahabol ko siya. Pero, still, that is the thorn. Come to think of it, brothers and sisters, um, yung pag-choke ng plan, buhay ang plan. Which means, may, may, yung ground is meron siyang makukuha sa plant na yun. Kasi, 
ang usually pag choke nourishment lang naman tsaka light eh ang ni-restrict sa plant na yon so the plant is still there kaya sometimes akala natin oh naniniwala naman ako eh naniniwala ako sumusunod ako naniniwala ako na 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 naniniwala naman ako nagbibigay nga ako eh nagbibigay nga ako kasi ni naniniwala ako doon next pag kinonsider pa din natin brothers and sisters regarding sa 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 um, among the thorns na ground ang sinabi and it and bring no fruit to perfection no fruit to perfection which means my fruit the fruit has been produced by that plan sabi natin kasi matagal na siyang matagal na sumasama sa church matagal na umuupo na nanampalataya nagdadasal the fruit is there na produce ang fruit but the fruit is not perfect when the The, the, the fruit is not perfect. Because it's not perfect, it's not acceptable. Paano malaman if the, the fruit is perfect? Okay? Yung sa Galatians 5, chapter 5, verses 22 to 23, the fruit of the Spirit, yung love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Those are the fruits. Kaya kung titignan mo yung tao na who has thorns in, in his heart, makikita mo, aside, instead of nine, may kulang. Mabait naman siya eh, pero may ganito siyang sumpong. At yun, tinatamaan talaga ako, brothers and sisters. Okay? Now, we have to understand na our Lord God requires perfection. In the same way, the church needs to be perfect. Which also means na Ayun, the church needs to be perfect. So, if the ground or the believer is not able to produce a perfect fruit, okay, kahit sabihin natin madaming fruits, but it's not perfect, kasi yung parang like, like a fruit, ano yung, ano yung minerals, characteristic ng fruit na to? It should have that nine. The nine attributes, yung fruits of the Holy Spirit. Okay? The fruits are very important, brothers and sisters, kasi yun yung nakikita sa naniniwala. Eh. Yun ang nakikita sa, sa true believer. If yung nakitaan is out of nine, let me say eight, tapos aside doon is hindi siya peaceful, mainitin yung ulo, then the, perf- the fruit is not a perfect. Okay? So, aside from that, brothers and sisters, skip. So, let's proceed sa fourth ground. The good fruit. Okay? Or, sorry, the good ground. So, the sa good ground, it sprang up and bear fruit a hundredfold. Okay? Ano yung karakteristik ng good ground na yun? What's with that ground na masasabi mong good ground? Kasi, technically speaking, or sige, kahit agriculturally speaking, yung 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 third na ground, yung nagkari ng thorns, it can be considered as a good ground kasi kaya niya mag ano, ng vegetation eh. Pero, what made the fourth ground as good ground? Una is, which an honest and good heart having heard the word, keep it. What's with that ground? What's with that heart of the believer? Honest, ito, honest and good heart having heard it, Uh, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth, uh, and bring forth fruit with patience. Patience in bringing out the fruit. Di nagmamadali. Now, to emphasize yung honest and good heart. Okay? Honest and good. Having a honest and good heart just to clear out the shades of gray. Because, trust me, brothers and sisters, Satan is using the shades, those shades of gray, ginagamit ni Satan yun. Pag nakakalusot yung shades of gray yun, ano, bibenta sa kanya yun. Or, sige, marketing. As in, um, lulusot si Satan dun, shades of gray. Kasi, it's like this, white, it's either white or black. Okay? If, 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 if yung, panan, yung totoong pananalang palataya, the faith, the accepted ideal faith, 
should be a white yung faith as white white as white as snow na acceptable sa Diyos which means the black is very obvious in between of white and black is gray okay but mind you brothers and sisters hindi kasi ako architect eh pero may kilala ako yung architect na sobra silang maselan sa kulay there is a very light gray a very light gray which is close to white but not white. And the very light gray, hindi ko alam kung tawag doon, the very light gray, yun yung last card ni Satan para makadeceive. Kasi the black will not work, the gray will not work, pero there is a very light gray. So yun, so tulad nito. Now, speaking of honest and good heart, okay, to have that white, the, you, the, the white one that we're talking about, okay, the acceptable white heart. Honest and good heart, it is, kasi when we, when we speak of standards, may mga standards lahat eh. It should be honest and good according to the standards of God. Sabihin, kahit dito sa, 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 sa mga work natin, merong ethical standards, work ethics standards, there are ethics. Pero we're not referring to that. We are referring to standards according to God, what is acceptable to Him. I'm giving an example, brothers and sisters. In ethics, may sinasabing white lies. White? It's white, but it's a lie. Sasabihin, eh, white lie naman eh, kasi tingnan mo to, ganito talaga. But still, it's a lie. And a lie is not acceptable to God. There was a sharing that I have dati na kashare ko. Sabi ko, no matter how 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 rough it is the truth must remain true okay no matter how good the intention is a lie cannot be accepted as white lie it should always be true because our god is true okay i'll give you an example kung siya sabi nilang showing compassion over other other persons Uy, pag nakita naman, sabihin mo na lang, heto yung ginawa ko ha, kasi pag sinabi mo kasing totoo, ganito mangyayari sa akin eh. Push comes to show, sasabihin, push comes to show, sasabihin, pag sinabi mong totoo, yung kasama mo sa trabaho matatanggal. The intention is very good kung maglalay ka to protect that person from, from, from being terminated. Pero kung titingnan mo talaga sa deepest essence na kung anong gusto ng Diyos na hindi pwede magsinungaling. It's like, yun nga, shade of very white light, uh, very white, uh, very light gray. The intention is very good kasi you're showing compassion para maligtas mo yung tao. But then, on, on, sa, sa, o, 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 on a deeper view, you choose to lie to save that person and not, n- and not to please God. Knowing that if you will lie, you're not pleasing God. Okay? Uh, I know it's very, it's very tricky na ginagamit talaga ni Satan. Isa yun, white lie. Next, yung good and honest heart, yung, the good, uh, yung good heart is yung sinasabi nila na maka, maka variant theory, the end justifies the means. Bakit mo itong ginawa? Kailangan ko kasing gawin na hindi sumunod muna para Kasi yung, yung result naman ito eh, will benefit everyone eh. Yung ganun classing view. But brothers and sisters, we have to be very keen on this sa, sa faith. When we rely on God, there's no shortcut. There is no shortcut na iisipin mo lang sa, sa, sa run, ng, sabihin mo sa run on the event, i-disregard mo yung gitna kung saan ka, kung saan mo, kung, sa, kung saan, it should choose ng believer na i-manifest niya yung sin, tapos magja-jump siya kasi after siya sa result. In faith, it's not like that. No, kaya nga yung naalala ko dati, yung pinag-sharingan, they said na it's it's a lifelong journey, yung, adopt- yung adoption, something like that. It's a lifelong journey yung, yung faith natin. And because of that, hindi ka pwede mag-jump into jump na I'll skip this because my intention is good. Same thing, good a good heart. Pag pang-karnal na pag-iisip, mabait naman talaga eh. 
Sabi, he's good kasi yung intention niya is mabait talaga. Pero is that good according to God's standard? I, I, I doubt. Next, brothers and sisters, bringing forth fruit with patience. Emphasis on patience. Okay? Emphasis on patience, bringing out fruit. Kasi what the, the fruit is manifested by pinapalabas natin yung faith natin. And ang bunga niyan, yun, yung fruit. Sometimes when we rush, instead of, of kasi hindi ma- maintindihan, hindi ma-grasp yung revelation, hindi ma-understand, kinakat na lang. Kinakat because it cannot be understood. But with patience, we have to we have to consider na instead of cutting it, instead of of rejecting a revelation, it would be best na to accept it. Accept accept the revelation and patiently patiently let's wait for the uh, uh, accept the revelation kasi hindi mo maintindihan. Tapos patiently wait kung kailan ipagkaloob ng Panginoon na i-reveal sa iyo kung anong tamang understanding nun. Okay? Because we have to understand, kaya nga sabi, believe, take it muna, believe. You don't have to understand it. Believe and patiently wait for you to understand. Matandaan natin mga kapatid yung yung, yung opening uh, verse ngayon. Um, for God so loved the word that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed, that whosoever believe, ang sinabi, hindi sinabi, and whosoever understands. Okay? Hindi sinabi na whosoever, hindi sinabi na whosoever understands, but whosoever believes. So, which means, we might not understand something, but we, we believe it. Because that is the word. And in due time, we pray. We pray for the revelation. Okay? Now, sinabi kanina na yung fruit and bring forth fruit uh, yeah, bringing forth fruit with patience diba? bringing forth fruit with patience with patience yung pang bring out ng fruit because if it's going to be rushed okay a fruit being plucked or pag ang fruit pag, pag kinuha mo siya premature yung pagkakuha mo sa fruit it is not ripe enough. It will not be ripe enough. When a fruit is not ripe enough, usually yung characteristics ng fruit na yon hindi kompleto. Because it is not ripe, ripe enough. Okay? Now this being said, brothers and sisters, about, because we have to understand that the fruit, we receive the fruit, uh, the fruit shared, is the, a fruit shared, spiritually speaking, correct me if I'm wrong, a fruit shared is also a fruit being sh- being preached. Okay, a fruit shared is a fr- is a, is is also a fruit being preached. Okay, later, mga kapatid, lolo obed, maming happen. We we can share on this. Okay, now speaking of uh, of sharing the fruit, we have to understand a believer. Okay, a true believer. Can, is not a loner. A true believer will seek. Will, uh, a true believer will Amen. seek a fellow believer. Amen. They will share. Magkakaroon sila ng fellowship. They will keep on sharing. Okay, because same brothers and sisters, sa good ground, an- another good ground. Pag yung seed is tumubo talaga, nagmature. There is this an inano sa science na pollination wherein yung flower yung yung part of this other tree will share to the other tree eto din magpapalit-palit sila mga pollens and what is the effect a fruit that's why mas nanaisin ng true ng true believer is may pag-share siya may pag-sharing siya sa parehas niya na believer asay compared sa kung, kung ano-anong pag, pag ano kung ano anong pag uh, pagkakwentuhan they would rather they would rather talk about the word of god okay now why 
yung believer is is not a loner. Okay? Because dati na pagsinungan dito. The because um the body has many parts. The body has many parts. Ilang beses na pinag-sharingan, ilang beses na diniskus dito sa pulpit. The body has many parts. The body coordinates. Though it has many parts, it coordinates one unto another. And since brothers and sisters, it ha- the body is one, it will only have one head, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. That's why kung titingnan mo, a fellow believer na uh, pag, let me say dalawang fellow believer yung sabihin natin yung trait ng agriculture yung pollination magkakasundo sila it hindi magta-turn one against another because like a body one body part against uh, one body part and another body part they will not go against each other because they have only one head Amen. i i haven't seen i haven't seen wala pa ako nakita na case na yung isang kamay inaaway yung isang kamay it will not happen because it has one body and one head now, the question there, brothers and sisters, alam natin na we are all after to be on that good ground. Always stay on that good ground. Yun yung, yun yung ini-aim. Unang Diyos, ini-aim natin yun. To be always on that good ground. But we have to be, to, we have to put caution as well regarding, regarding yung na, na, nabanggit ng 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 prophet natin about not letting the bar down we're not supposed to let the bar down because what happens is if the good ground okay namumunga and everything nagmature yung tree but then the believer put his guard down a thorn a weed can grow up a weed can grow up una isa pa lang yan tapos dadami once marami, do sabihin natin kahit malaki pa yung tree na yun, kahit dadami pa yan, hindi man niya kayang tabunan para para hindi makuha ng sunlight yung tree. Pero his, it's eating up nourishment. Same, how do we relate it spiritually? Same in the heart. Good ground. True believer, slowly kinakain siya ng self-credit, uh, greed, Anger na lang. Let's start with anger. Kasi yun ang mas madali kong maano. Anger, nag-start siya na naiinis sa isang tao. O nakikita niya inis. Pero he's a believer. Nagdadasal siya. Makikita mo na yung fruit sa kanya. It will start with naiinis ako sa ganitong tao. Next, every time makikita, then, naiinis ako dahil sa isang isang scenario namin na naiinis ako. Next, every time ko siya makikita, naiinis na ako. Next, it will grow Pati yung grupo niya, nainis na ako. Until maapektuhan na kung sino-sino. Th- that's how it works. And then, i- 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 kung magre-reflect yung believer na yon, he'll find out na yung fruits of the uh, of the Holy Spirit, yung isa nat- nat- natanggal na because of hatred. And because of that, the fruit is not perfect anymore. Kaya, brothers and sisters, we should not let the bar down. Kasi, when we let the bar down, tapos magiging ganun, that thorn, dumami, yung weeds, dumami, it is not any different from yung third type of ground, yung the seed on among the thorns, it will still be almost the same thing. Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, um, yung, one, two, three, yung third um, item na gusto kong i-put out, yung bearing fruit okay tungkol sa bearing fruit tulad na, na nabanggit kanina um, the fruits that we should bear okay should be should be a perfect fruit para maging acceptable siya okay and to be acceptable it has to have that nine 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 characteristics of sabi na lang natin since fruit like vitamins and minerals it should have that nine components to consider it to consider it as a, a perfect fruit which is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness 
and temperance. All of it should be there. And all of it, hindi siya pwedeng, hindi siya pwedeng partly love, partly joy. It should be a full love, full joy. Those, those gifts of the Holy Spirit should be full and should be acceptable according to the standards of God. Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, since na, na ano natin yung four types of, of ground, okay? Sometimes we, we may think na, na others are being left on, on the, on, let me say, wayside, the rocky ground or yung ma thorns. But the, the, the great thing there, or the good thing there, brothers and sisters, is that by the grace of God, as long, as long as the grace still exists, there is still hope. Amen. There is still hope na the, the soil, uh, or there is still hope na the ground which is like, uh, the, the ground which is likened to a wayside, or the ground which is likened to a rock, or to soil with thorns, there is still hope para maging good ground sila. There is still hope. It is still not impossible, brothers and sisters, because by the grace of God, everything is possible. Okay. Now, um, how how can it be possible? Let's start with the wayside. From the wayside, it can start with if kanina na discuss natin why the wayside hindi makapenetrate yung seed, hindi maplant. It's because it's yung tao na may heart na ganun is very busy na parating yung naapakan yung ground niya. You know this saying na sinasabi nila na malit pa ako nun eh. Sabi nila, keep off the grass. See? Bakit nilalagyan na keep off the grass? Kasi yung grass na inapakapakan parate, nagiging pathway siya. So same way, same thing with a ground na, na nasa wayside, it will have that kind of concept keep off the grass or keep off the ground. Instead of being too busy, instead of being too busy na hindi maniwala, na nagre-reject kasi wala siyang time, remove, by, by God's grace, remove that busyness. Remove that busyness and it will change. Remove that busyness and start to listen. Next, yung yung bedrock, yung rocky, yung yung rocky ground or yung rock type na ground how can it how can it change to become a good ground how can it change kasi kung titingnan mo rocky nga siya eh eh kung bedrock pa siya bedrock kasi is more on mas malaki siya na yung, yung ground is more on mabato talaga bato talaga siya so how how can it change to become a good a good ground um it's like this, brothers and sisters. Pwede natin siyang, since yung parable natin is hinaling tulad sa side ng agriculture. Same thing with agriculture, sa science ng, ng agriculture. There is yung tinatawag nilang stages of soil development. Okay? Now, stages of soil development, it will start from a bedrock. Yung bato talaga. Okay? Now, from... From a bedrock, paano siya maging soil? First is yung, yung rock mismo is mag-disintegrate siya. Okay? How to disintegrate? Paano maging, uh, as per science, paano mag-disintegrate ang isang rock? Una, it is a combination of sun, kung natural, sun, sunlight, and rain. Sunlight and rain, sunlight and rain. Yung bedrock na ran, it will crush and will become rocky. So yung isang malaking matibay na bato, it will crush into something rocky. Now, how do we relate it to spiritual? Okay? Sun and rain, sun and rain. Like, a bedrock needs sun, S-U-N. Then, we liken it to spiritual. Reliance on the sun, S-O-N. The sun of God. Next, uh, about the rain, it is, it is acknowledging yung blessings, 
yung blessings of rain from God. Yung pag, pag may natatanggap ka na blessing, sasabihin mo na, umu- inuulan ako ng blessing. It's the same thing as it. Run, uh, I mean, sun and rain, sun and rain, it will crush the bedrock to make it, um, to make it um, rocky. Now from rocky, as per sa soil development, from rocky is pwede na siyang may tumubo na konti. Paunti-unti, na may mga tutubo-tutubo, like example, grass or something. Tutubo-tutubo. Kasi yung mga maliliit na rocks na yun, madidisintegrate pa niya. How do we relate it sa spiritual? I know most of us is, like ako, nanggaling ako sa denomination. Nanggaling ako sa, sa denominational. Hindi naman ako pinanganak na hindi naniwala sa Diyos. I was not born that way. Pinanganak ako sa yun, my, my, my doctrine about God. And that, in the same way, yung mga i- ibang denominational churches have it. Now, how do we relate it to sa, sa faith natin? Same with that little grass. Yung tinatawag na pala, ilang maraming beses na sinishare natin yung preservation of life. We were there because we were preserved. In the same way, the grass is on the rocky bed, okay, to preserve that ground para maging soil na siya. So how do we relate it? From denominational teachings, tulad nung nakasulat yung come out from her, come out. We have to go out, get out of, of that denomination. Same with those that we love. Mahirap, mahirap talagang i-convince sa kanila. But it's, that's how it should be. To come out. Because it's there for preservation. Tulad na ilang beses na sinishare na preservation of life. Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, so we have, so that's the hope yung yun sa three, three, three grounds. Na it doesn't mean na if it's if the heart of the person is 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 stony if the heart of the person is yung like wayside that it's hopeless no it's not because like me i've been there and there is hope as long as the grace is still there so with those that we love yung mga mahal natin sa buhay mga pamilya natin even friends that we love preach share tulad ng sinabi ng just share share the good tidings for the glory of God. Next, brothers and sisters, yung panghuli, yung sinabi na, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Because we have to consider, brothers and sisters, yung sinabi, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of God. When he says, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. It's not just about hearing a sound. Pero nung sin- yung sinulat ng na, ni N- nung sinulat ni, ni Apostle Paul na faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God the hearing there is not just hearing a sound but the hearing there yung pag-define ng meaning ng hearing is same like drinks you hear, you will con- you will consistently hear hearing, it's it's a present tense na consistent and it's not just hearing but it's it's not just noting, noticing a sound but also paying attention Paying attention to that sound. Paying attention to what you hear, which is the word of God. Kaya sinabi, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. It's hearing and paying good attention to the word of God. Now, brothers and sisters, sa pagtatapos, just to have three points of reflection. Sa binasa natin kanina, yung verse, yung verse 10, and he said, Unto you, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. I cannot read each one of you. All of us cannot read each other's heart. No one can, no one can do that. Only God can do that. But then the question lies there. Dun sa sinabi sa, sa verse na yun. Where are we among the two? Are we the one na 
to whom the mysteries of the kingdom of God is known? Or are we the one na parables lang din siya sa atin? Where are we among the two? Next, since we don't know, um, since like what I've said kanina, each one of us cannot read what is inside of another person's heart. So yung second point of reflection, yung verse 17, okay? For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Which means, it's possible na yung tao, yung believer, let me say, um, pretending to be a believer, he may hide it na pinapalabas niya kung wari believer siya, kung wari sinisikap niyong ilabas ng, ng yung fruits, pero in him is unbelief. It's possible. But then, the question will either, are we that kind of a person, pretentious, or are we really manifesting what is being sown in us? And lastly, brothers and sisters, okay, yung third point of reflection is yung verse 18. Sinabi, Take heed therefore how ye hear, for whatsoever hath to him shall be given, and whatsoever hath not from him shall be taken. And here's this part. Even that which he seemeth to have. Even that which he seemeth to have. This can further um, explain yung sa yung inano ko sa kanina na don't let the, the, the bar down. You may have the good ground. The good ground is there. Like bear ng fruit but then suddenly it has been corrupted because weeds, thorns have grown. Unknowingly, what he thinks he has, yung mga fruits, acceptable fruits, have already been taken because it's not acceptable anymore. So brothers and sisters, hindi pagtatagal, um, let's all stand. And um, if may nasabi pa akong mani, let's just go back to the word. So, praise God. Dada ako